From crushing to mixing to pureeing, blenders can do it all. But you know what? Buying a blender is not such a simple task because there are so many different ones out there. So today we'll be looking at five different blenders so you know what to look out for at your next shop. So we'll first start off with the Philips Daily Collection Blender as well as the Philips Pro Blend 6. And we're going to try a variety of things today. We'll be making a smoothie. We'll also be trying to grind up some almonds to see how that all turns out. And I'm first going to start with a smoothie. Now one thing you can see in common with these two blenders is that they've got separate tumbler cups. So this is really good for you guys who want to blend directly into your bottle and then you can just close it up and get on with your day. Now I have three other blenders in front of me, again, all very different. Right here, I've got the Braun Identity Jug Collection, the Tefal Fruit Sensation, and the Philips High Speed Vacuum Blender, which is the latest in their collection. So let's just get started with the smoothie making. And we're gonna go in with half a banana each, some strawberries, and you always need some liquid with your smoothie. So I've got some almond milk here. Alrighty, so with the daily collection, we've got two different functions. It's just function one, function two. And with the pro blend, we've got minimum to maximum. So there's no one to 10 speeds here. You can't really vary it very much. So let's see how this goes. Alrighty, so now let's have a look at the texture. I didn't have to blend it for very long, honestly. It wasn't even more than 15 seconds, I would say. And the one with the Pro Blend is incredibly smooth. No chunks in there. And let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, it's great. It's chunk free. Now I have three other blenders in front of me. Again, all very different. In terms of functionality and buttons, the Tefal is very similar to the Daily Collection. It only has two buttons and you can't multitask while using this blender. You have to keep your finger on the button. With these two, there is a variation of speed. And of course, um, you can pulse. There are different buttons to make soups and smoothies with this one and this one as well. <laughs> So right now, it is sucking all the oxygen out of the cavity. And once that's over, it will proceed to blend. Okay, so it pulses. That's interesting. I wonder if that changes. It read my mind. I shouldn't have worn a white top today. Oh wow, that's incredibly smooth. Check that out. All right, let's go ahead with the Tefal. And of course, with Braun. Yeah, again, very smooth. Now, I must say, this is way foamier than the smoothie we got out of this one. And apparently the high speed blender also reduces the amount of foam because there's no oxygen in there. Again, very foamy. I don't have an issue with that, but it goes to show that this one really prevents that from happening. So there you go. We've got three different smoothies right now. Next up, let's try some nuts. So let's go in with our almonds. I'm very impressed. I did not expect this to happen. It's really, really fine. A much better result than this one. This is way coarser and it's not very uniform in size, but this, 100% almond flour, we've got that right there. So I'm really surprised. Mm -hmm. 
I am going to switch up the blade for the Tefal Fruit Sensation because they've got two others. One which is more of a spice grinder and the other one which is more of a mini chopper. So we've got the brown as it is and the Phillips as it is as well. So let's go in with the onions. There are some very fine bits. There's some coarse bits as well, so not a fan of that. It's not homogenous. I'm actually quite, I'm really impressed by this. Really small, compact. Again, like the daily collection, you know, they're small, they're simple, just two harmless buttons, but they work really well. But I must say, it's not as strong as the daily collection. So that's that. And you know what? I also appreciate how the Tefal comes with three different jugs because um, that reduces cross-contamination. So that's great there. Not bad, not bad. I can work with this, I know I can, but if I know that this is out there in the market and it can do so much, I'm definitely gonna go for this. And finally, we'll test with water to see how powerful the machine is. Three, two, one. It's really powerful. I didn't even fill it to the max and it was spilling out from the top, which could be a concern. But this one I'm sure can do everything and what I like about it is that the jug is way bigger so you can make more with it and it almost feels sturdier, sturdier as well because of the handle. I will be putting them all at their maximum speed and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, the table was shaking because of this one. Um, the whole machine was shaking itself. A very, very powerful machine for sure. This one's all right, it's okay. And this one's, okay, it's powerful, but having a powerful motor is one thing, but having a blade that's sharp enough and precise enough is another thing. And for me personally, for very simple things at home, I am very happy with um, something like this that's compact, easy to store. Um, it's made out of glass, but it's not too heavy. Um, so something like the Philips Daily Collection or the Tefal Fruit Sensation is just fine for me. And there you go. That's my experience with all five blenders today, which you can get at Quartz. Blenders vary in so many different ways. The size, the weight, the material of the container, special accessories like the blades, whether or not it has a to-go cup, whether or not it has varying speeds for you to control the blender. But I must say these two tiny ones surpass my expectations um, for my needs and my tiny kitchen space. The daily collection is it for me. I would totally go for something like this. I would say that the high-speed vacuum blender was the most interesting and it does give you very aesthetically pleasing smoothies. It's not something I need, but say if I had the largest kitchen in the whole world and I could have whatever appliance I wanted, I would probably just have this for fun to play around with. So that's it for me. Whatever suits your needs, go out, get it, but definitely ask questions, try it out, and have fun cooking at home.